I'm Heather from Frugal Renewal. Welcome to our channel. We're back. We took a break. We're back. We are working on our bathroom reno and we have the linen closet as the feature of today's video. Yes, we have a dedicated storage closet in our bathroom and it's all about fixing it up, reorganizing it so that it works for our first aid supplies, our extra hygiene products, our paper products, our towels, and all the other stuff you need to have in a bathroom closet. So, I wanted it to be practical, but I also wanted it to be pretty. But because this channel name is Frugal Renewal, you all know that it's got to be thrifty too. So we're using what we already have and we're getting supplies from the dollar store to make over this closet. I hope that this inspires you to work on your own storage and to make it practical and pretty. Dollar store pretty. <laughs> all right, enjoy. Here's the scoop. This is the linen closet that's in the bathroom. This is the door organizer, which I love because it has clear pockets so you can totally see what's in each one. And this is how we had all of our first aid supplies organized at our last house. And here's the problem with this one. This pocket organizer is wider than the door. So it's about a half a pocket too wide. Also, these hooks on the top will not allow me, because it's such a tight fit, close the door. So here's the plan. I'm going to cut, I don't know which pocket, but I'm going to cut one of the end pockets off all the way down, which will leave me with three hanger holes. And then I'm going to install three screws in the door frame and hang the hanger on those three screws and then put back our first aid supplies. And granted, it will be fewer pockets but it will still be a clear organizer. So this is the final result. I cut the pockets off on this side. Um, it now fits perfectly on the door. We installed three screws. The three screws in the hollow door. I know that doesn't sound like much, but it's enough to support this with all of our first aid supplies nicely packed away. It's a thing of beauty. I should point out, I cut off all of the pockets that were on the right side. And so this is just raw plastic from the cutting. What it did here, it was a two pouch pocket, extra wide. So I ended up doing some stitching with some thread just to sew it up. I used a darning needle and some embroidery floss, just what I had handy, just to close in that pocket. So now it works. I'm ready for the next part, the next stage of organizing the closet. I got these beautiful baskets, plastic bins, from Dollarama, I think it was, and they were, there we go, $2.50 each. And I got a white, an olive green, a teal, and then a um, more muted, grayed down version of teal. And they just fit perfectly with the color scheme that I'm going for in the bathroom. The plan for that is to organize the cupboard area in here where I put all of our extra supplies. I have these bins that are from Ikea in here now, and they've worked fine, but they don't have a solid bottom, so whenever you take them out of the closet, they just kind of collapse. So it's it would be more practical to have something with a, a sturdier bottom. So that's my plan. Now to pretty them up because, you know, why not? I got these craft paper tags, also from Dollarama for $1.25. And I'm going to tie them on to the baskets. They come with some uh, jute twine. I made labels on canva.com. Love that website. If you're into graphic design at all, it's, it's a free site and you can play all day. You can lose track of hours. <laughs> anyway. This is where I made the labels that I stuck on the craft paper that I tied to the baskets for the linen closet. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I think they're so pretty. Maybe you would have done something differently. I think I've got the lighting figured out finally. So that's the first aid pouch, which I'm super proud of and pleased with and works perfectly for a family. And the door closes. Because there's five of us, we have two shelves of towels, 
bath towels, more bath towels, hand towels, and a bin of face cloths. I love these baskets. I was able to fit six of them on a shelf. So we have dental care, liquid soap, bath time, nail care, bar soap, hair care products. I went back and got more bins because I liked them so much. So we have our hair cutting set, travel products, more hair care products, and then we store our paper, toilet paper, paper towels, Kleenexes in here. So that's the linen closet. It's organized and it's pretty. What is it that I was going for? Oh yeah, practical and pretty. And I think this fits the bill.